So this has been a video that I've been wanting to do for a while now, and I guess I'll be doing it today. So today I'm going to be unboxing the T-Mobile Revel, uh, Revel V Plus 5G. So I got this for right around $200, you know, with all the activation fees and the extra goodies, which I'll show you in a minute. And the phone itself, I think it was 130 itself. I don't know. I don't know how it, uh, how much it is specifically, but like... That's what I was told at the store. I, I'm going to be activating it myself because I'm going to be putting my SIM card in it. So the guy asked me if I wanted to do it myself or if I wanted to do it at the store. And I decided to do it myself because I wanted to unbox it on camera. So on the back, we have the specs. I'm not really that familiar with this phone, but this is going to be the first 5G phone that I own. I don't know. It's kind of like a mid-range, I guess, phone, budget phone. I don't know. So, yeah, uh, let's unbox it. Yeah, knife would have been so much easier for this, right? So we got T-Mobile logo right there. We got the phone itself on top. So there's a little tab right here that I can pull on. And here you go. Here's the phone. Oh, I love that. All right. Just put that right there. Um, you got this. Here you got your SIM ejector tool and I'm guessing your paperwork too. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it opens up like this. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Not gonna lie. So you got your paperwork, SIM ejection tool. Right, we got your charger and your charging brick. Now here's the phone itself. So. Oh man, that is nice. This is pretty big actually. We compare it to my Note 9 right here. And uh, yeah, it's actually taller. You know, I'm trying to like keep this so you guys can see it. But like. Yeah, this is like the first time that I'm seeing it. I did see like a display uh, version, like a dumb phone version of it. I like it. I like the back feel to it instead of like the glossy black uh, glass feel on the Note 9. It's actually kind of cracked right there. Oh, wow. I'm surprised you still got a headphone jack right there. Kind of like a squarish, you know, edging right here. All right. I see you. Got some like weird effect going on in the back. So I like it. So SIM card slot is right here. So if you're wondering, this has, you know, micro SD card slot, so you could expand the memory if you want. This has 64 gigabytes of internal memory built in. But just popped in my SIM card in, and this already has dust on it. Okay. Volume rockers right here. And I'm assuming this is also the power switch, or no, the, I think this is also the fingerprint sensor. I don't think this has one, does it? I don't know. I honestly don't know, like, much about this phone, so, like, don't judge. Fire it up, see if it has any charge on it. Oh, there you go. Powered by Android, of course. While we wait for that, let me show you guys the accessories that I got. Got a tempered glass screen protector, which will be a nightmare to put on because I suck at doing so. So it's already uh, booted up. But let me show you guys the case that I bought for it. Check this out. So it has a little clip that you can clip onto your uh, your jeans or whatever. It has a little kickstand as well, you know, which will be pretty useful i guess i don't know so now let me just set it up oh i'm excited to try out that triple camera setup i mean i'm not really expecting you know anything fancy from it but whatever so it looks like we do have a fingerprint sensor on this thing so let me try it out all right it looks like we're in finally yeah all right so this is what i'm greeted with the user interface Oof. Oh, Mariah Carey, what's up, girl? Gotta love Mariah Carey, man. She's iconic. I bought one of her albums just yesterday, which is actually pretty funny. Actually, about the screen dimming. Adaptive brightness. Yeah, that's okay. Turn it up. All right, so it's not, it's not bad. Honestly, I can live with it. Well, first impressions, I like it so far, at least. Yeah, we gotta love Beyonce, by the way. Like, who doesn't? I gotta keep the phone, like, down here so you guys can see it, but I'm, like, doing it right here because I'm looking at it. Because, like, it's my first time seeing it. Yeah, I think I like it. You know, I could get used to this, you know. Stock Android. All right, so it works. 5G is in progress now. Uh, What do I test? The camera? Yeah, let's do that. So we got, again, a triple camera setup. I mean, for me looking at it, you know, from the viewfinder, I guess it does not look that bad, honestly. I mean, not the best, but I can live with it, you know. If I had to use this as, like, a standard... Okay, yeah, well, I'm gonna use it as a standard camera what am i saying but this is the front facing camera oh wait a minute there's beauty mode on this i should turn that off beauty mode turn it okay okay yeah this makes me look a lot worse than i already do we got wide angle oh god 
This is nice. This is actually probably one of the first phones that I get to own with a wide angle camera. Doesn't look bad, I guess. I'll test this out in a later video, but I'm not sure. I think I will. Yeah, I will. I don't know. Let me do video. We can do 60 frames per second. Okay. That's, that's cool. And here are all your video recording options. Do the front face, facing camera. That actually doesn't look that bad. I'm not gonna lie. It says night mode too, so that's cool. And, uh, live focus is only for the rear camera. Okay. Here's a little demo of the video quality on this. As you can see, my bed is a mess from the unboxing. I actually did not try the case on yet, should I? There's the case, I mean, it's really hard to see. Oh, there you go, okay. All right, it adjusted itself, so um, I think I like it. This is like an indoor test, so like, of course you gotta expect it to be, you know, terrible because it's indoors, not outside. I would do it outside, but let's look at the beautiful weather we're having. This is the front facing camera now, so I don't know. I guess it's better if I'm like in front of the light. And uh, you gotta excuse the mess, by the way. Let me test out the audio on this, the speakers, I should say. Get off your ponies and get into a go kart. Yeah. And I can tell you, actually, from some experience of horses. The good thing is, when you walk out in the morning, you'll find that you're... So I can only hear the audio coming from this side, so... Yeah, no stereo speakers from here, or whatever. I don't... Okay, look, I'm not the best with, like, audio and stuff, so, like... Don't yell at me in the comments, please. This can only go up to 720p, or I think that's just the video itself. Now you can play high-quality videos with this. I mean, again, this might just be the video itself, but... It's uh, it's fine, I guess. Only bottom firing speakers, but I, it's fine, honestly. In my opinion, at least. I don't know about you, but I think it's fine. So I don't know. I think that's it for now, I guess. Let me know what you guys think about this phone, and uh, I'll do a camera uh, review on this soon if you want it. If you want me to do that for now, you know, first impression is I think it's a okay phone. I mean. You know, I will have to get used to it a little bit because it's new to me. But, hey, it's fine, honestly. So if you have any questions about this, uh, just hit me up in the comments and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. And that fingerprint reader is actually pretty fast. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, see you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to end this video.